This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. We're at the final press conference here for Crawler Perez, ahead uh, of this Saturday night's world title clash fight on the undercard. Charlie Edwards against Phil Smith. How are you, Charlie? Yeah, I'm great, and um, thanks, Coogan. Um, training's gone great. I've now signed to um, MGM and I've sealed my deal with MGM. And I'm training out there for three and a half weeks, so it's, it's been great. We've had top sparring in. Um, inspiring a featherweight who is 14 and 0 as a as a pro from Malika and um, so a lightweight as well. So I've had top hard sparring and I've been doing rounds half and half of them. So I'm really in good condition. I've been right as if anyone knows that they've been over my way. I've done it. Stand out and run like eight times in 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 two and a half weeks, getting off and then going on the flats for the last week. So I'm flying fit and my weight's perfect. I can't can't wait to get in there and do the business. I've also um, joined forces with uh, Danny Vaughan who's also an MGM man so it's looking good, looking really positive um, camp's gone perfect Just to see you are representing MGM with the, with the green today um, let's just talk a little bit about that obviously, yeah the news of, a couple of weeks ago that you had joined at uh, Macklin's Gym Marbella, why the decision to join them? Um, the people over there, you couldn't get nicer people they want the best for you, they couldn't do enough for you so it. I, I've been going over there for about seven months and it was looking after me even when I weren't a part of them. And I thought it's time now, I'm going into my second year as a pro, to get a management team behind me to push me in the right direction and make sure I, I'm getting the, the right money for the fights. Like that. They, they know what they're doing for their job. I've done all right for my first year, but um, now I've put it in their hands and we're going to go all the way to the top together. And Danny Vaughan is uh, saying up and coming train, I suppose, age wise, uh, he is. I think he'll like me saying that, but. Um, yeah, one of the best coaches there are around at the moment. Definitely, one of the best coaches I've ever worked with. As soon as I hit the pads from the day one with him, I knew he was is my, is my man. He corrects you on everything, so technical. He goes back and watches your opponents time and time again and perfects the game plan. So it's really what I need at this stage. Now I'm fighting the titles, obviously. I worked with him before my Lewis Norman fight. I worked with him for, for the three and a half weeks. I was out there before that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's great. I couldn't be in a better place right now. I've got all the right people around me, and in boxing, you need the right team. 5 and 0 at the moment, so uh, things have gone relatively well for you since uh, you've turned pro. So, you'll be looking to obviously end the year well and pick up next year where you've uh, started this year. Exactly, yeah, 5 and 0 at the moment, looking to be 6 and 0 on um, Saturday night. So, um, the, the year's gone great. I couldn't ask for a better pro. pro um, year from my debut like from my debut to now so it's gone smoothly I'm with all the right people I finally feel settled as a boxer now I feel like I've got my team and that's it I'm, I'm set set for the future after the singles title defence when I, when I beat Phil Smith on um, Saturday then we, we sit down the whole team and look what's next but hopefully next we would step up for the British but I've got to get this fight out of the way first on Saturday With that division you're in you know quite scarce of flyweights, uh, there aren't too many about domestically, uh, you know, what is the route for you? Um, the route is the traditional route, I want to go down the traditional route, I've done the English, want the British, European, then so forth, but I've got to take one fight at a time and keep putting my all into that one fight and I'm going to put my all in on Saturday and I hope to put in a great performance. End goal against uh, Roman Gonzalez at the end of your flyweight career? I might have moved up by then. No, but yeah, it's, it's a potential fight out there. Like you said, the flyweight in Britain isn't like a big weight. Then you go into the European once you get the British, and then you're set for the world. So that is a potential fight in the future. He's pound for pound king, and he um, he's a great fighter. He's a really great fighter. And just to even share a ring with him would be a, ple a pleasure. You may have to wait in line because he's obviously already called out Prince Patel. So who? Who's that? Prince Patel. No. Uh, There's another flyweight from England. Gonzalez called him out a little while ago. I don't know if you saw it. But no, I don't, don't know. I know you saw it. I know you saw it, Charlie. Um, all right. Well, listen. Uh, best of luck against uh, Phil Smith uh, this week in Manchester. Um, should be a great night. Like I said, Crawler headlining for a world title in his rematch against Perry. So hopefully he can do it as well. Yeah, it'll be a great night. I want Crawler to do it as a fellow Brit and look forward to putting in a great performance. I've worked hard this training camp and I've stepped it up this training camp, so I'm looking forward to showtime on Saturday night. All right, Charlie Edwards, thanks for talking to uh, Eiffel TV and uh, we'll catch up with you over the weekend. Thanks again, Coogan. Nice one, mate. Cheers, mate.